Mike from the Mike James Rock Show and joining us literally hot off the main stage. You're still pouring with sweat. Dripping. <laughs> Those damn crows join us on the Mike James Rock Show. Welcome back. What's happening, dude? Thank you so much for having us. It's been such a while since we spoke with you, so so yeah. much has gone on. How yeah, are you doing yeah. in yourself? Are you okay? Not too bad. Besides uh, the sweaty bit from being yeah, on stage. Yeah, hot and sweaty, but you know, that's, uh, that's the nature of the beast. It is. It, we couldn't get out to see, but they've got a big screen just around the corner from here. Yeah. And the size of that crowd for that early in the morning in the blazing hot sunshine Mate. was phenomenal, man. Overwhelmed. Congrats. Absolutely incredible support. Um, I think, you know, obviously the fan base is incredible through COVID and, and we did Crowcast, we kept in touch with them. Yeah. But now we put on these shows, we're really seeing, you know, these people coming early to see us. Yeah. We did um, a Thunder show um, in Cardiff, I think it was last week or the week before. Um, support in Thunder and you know it was rammed yeah. uh, at 7 o'clock wow. you know early so yeah it's, it's really overwhelming the support is incredible and uh, just smile from year to year you know yeah I, I can tell you're, yeah, you're, man. you're not just hot and sweaty from the gig but I can tell in yourself you're radiating and beaming from it man. you know we love doing what we're doing but to see those faces you know I was looking at the crowd and I could see so many people that had been to our shows and it was just wow we've come all our way to see us and it's just immense, man. It's, it's nice, man. It's, it, 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 you're one of those bands that have just gently plugged away and plugged away and kept pushing and pushing and yeah. gradually got bigger and bigger. Because I, I remember, I think we interviewed your band, well, oh, it must be about... <laughs> you tell yeah, me. I can't remember. It was, it was definitely before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think it was our Hard Rock Hell or something like right. that. And, yeah. and you guys were like... It, like like a, a, a rabbit in the headlights kind of thing. It's yeah, like, oh sure. my God, we're doing press at an interview kind of thing. Yeah, and now yeah. you're rocking the main stage at one of the biggest festivals in the world. Incredible, it's, man. It's, it's hats off to you guys for Thank keeping you, it going. And like you said, you've had your podcast. Like, yeah. Are you going to carry that on now, the pandemic? Sure, because it was yeah. kind of a pandemic -y type thing like most people were doing, Yeah, I sure. That, that was the initial sort of idea was just to keep in touch with our fan base and, and couldn't do shows as such. So, but... um. You know, I've recently hurt my back, so we took a kind of a, a, a break, um, but we are we are definitely coming back with Crowcast and with more guests and that's cool. Our usual shenanigans. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's it's, an, it's another it's almost, almost like a connection with the fans, and if anything, it's it's more interactive because yes. when when you see the fans at a gig, you can't really go and just chat to them and they exactly. can't chat to you, but it's just you guys chewing the fat on microphone. It's, it, exactly, it makes it more we always, personable. We always prided ourselves at shows to like go out and see the crowd you know the people pay their money to come and see us and and I, we obviously we couldn't do that because of covid but yeah. this was that that gateway you know um and it's just grown i believe it's grown through covid when you know the industry's kind of stopped yeah and we were the last to come back when we because obviously the amount of people that come to shows and as far yeah, as the government were concerned that was a real health hazard so we were the the last to come back in doing shows so crowcast has been a blessing just staying in touch with them um just asking if they're okay that interaction did, did you find within the band itself it was a good way of like checking in with each other and checking yeah. that they're doing okay with their mental health and well physical health as well 100 percent, bro we you know we'd we'd given up our jobs to, to do what we're doing yeah and then the world stopped so it was just um it was just a way to just kind of you know branch out to our band members but to our fans as well yeah. and, and mental health you're absolutely right dude that, that did a lot it does to, it, it, that's what we did we, you know there yeah. was a while where we had to do our show yeah in different houses but sure. we, you know it sounds like we're together in the edit but it was just that one couple of hours a week where yeah. just me and your best mate kind that's of it. me and your best mate vice versa just yeah. sit down chew the fat do a yeah. radio show and just make sure we're okay with each other and yeah, it, yeah. It, was, it was a good thing and i think that's a, a, a what a lot of people are noticing now is like you have to talk about these kind of things and, and having dude. podcasts and radio shows and just yep. people generally asking if you're okay yeah it's, yeah it's the way forward so what what's the way forwards for the band at the moment then what, what have you got for the rest of the year we're um we're quite busy we've got a few shows in august um headline shows we're doing chepstow castle um, oh nice we love a castle the yeah. welsh so we did cardiff castle last year and then just thought we'd do Chepstow as well. Um, some killer lineup, go check that out. Uh, we're going on, we've got a couple of festivals. Stone Dead Festival was announced two yep. days ago. Um, Fireball Festival. And then we got a tour with Monster Truck. So we're on stage right now. Yeah. Um, 
So it's almost like you were supporting them on the, the main stage as well then? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, going kind of, forwards, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Well, but, they, you know, we love what the boys do on Monster Truck. Um, great vibe. So I just think it'll be a hell of a tour. Yeah. Get those tickets because um, they're available now. But what a great lineup, dude. You know, it's going to be nothing just but those, fun, man. Just those two bands alone, are they adding more to the lineup or is that way I'm not, I'm not sure. Sales? I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, just, to, just as you and them alone, it's, it's worth a ticket yeah, money. Yeah, 100%. Up. It's great. Yeah, I can't wait for it. Yeah, any uh, recordings or writing in process? Sure, the, um, the third album is done. It's done. It's recorded. Okay. Um, During lockdown or post lockdown, but written in lockdown? We finished last year just before Christmas. Okay. Um, but we were getting it mixed by, you know, and all that takes a lot of time. And yeah. then um, just the, the, the logistics of it all with physical copies like vinyl and all of that course. so he's trying to organize it all yeah, yeah 100% plus you've also got to find the right release window because so many acts have delayed their albums some of them for two years exactly so dude some labels are prioritizing that over exactly. newer stuff so exactly it's, it's it's almost like there's a killer album out every single week now yeah it's, yeah it's yeah. amazing so hopefully when yours comes out you'll be up there as well fingers crossed british rock is, is Pushing oh, it's forward booming, at the moment, dude. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely. It's, it's booming. So yeah, yeah. I think you are the you know one of those bands at the forefront of pushing that kind of sound forwards for that's, the UK, which is that's great. nice to see, dude. But yeah, with with thrill with our sounds, can't wait for the guys to hear it. Um, I'm not sure, like you said, I, I'm not sure when it's going to be out, but it'll pick the right window and um, we'll just go for it. Off we go. Yeah, the trajectory is good for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks very much for taking some more time Thank out you, of your uh, busy, uh, sweaty schedule this afternoon. <laughs> uh, congrats on what looked like it was an amazing show Thanks, for you. Thanks, man. It'll Thoroughly be one when you wake it. up in a few days' time and go, yeah, that yeah. was boss. It was a banger, dude. It was that a banger. Was cool. Thanks very much, man. Thanks, man. Cheers. Welcome to the My James Rock Show.